G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator with Mags and welcome aboard the Extra 330LT and of course welcome to New York City. So as I'm sure you're aware Asobo has dropped a couple of patches in the last week. Firstly Flight Sim is now available on both of the new Xboxes and by all accounts it runs absolutely fantastic which is great and of course the PC has had a rather massive optimization patch 40 gig. Uh, that has upped the in-game performance from between you know, 10 to 15 percent on lower end hardware up to almost double on high end current hardware. Now I'm not going to go too deep into this, I'm sure you've probably already seen plenty of videos talking about these patches as I'm a little late here. Needless to say the only complaint I have is the little white menu bar at the top of the screen no longer fades out especially on external views and it keeps messing up my screenshots. So rather than waffle on about the patches, I figured I would do something that even with my system specs, I haven't been able to do before now. Turn New York City into a concrete playground. I hope you enjoy it. What would it be actually like to just sail your own yacht around the sort of New York Harbour? So first pass here, we're going to go between the buildings. I believe the World Trade Center used to be just here on the left, I think. And yeah, we've got uh, we got way too much greenery here. This is a, a flight sim thing. Um, some of the cities that actually have sort of custom a more customized terrain tends to be a bit better. I'm not sure why they just don't mark down areas to say no greenery in these spots. Make things a little bit easier. Right, so I'm just sort of free roaming a little bit. Fairly flat, low, not, lots, not a lot of tall buildings in this section. Right, so that looks like Empire State Building on the right hand side coming up so if we head down here I'm not entirely sure what's I really need a street map so I can tell what streets I'm on it's coming up on the right so I reckon this red sign here looks like it's supposed to be a coke can and we rolled that a little bit too hard there drop it down into the street. The easiest way to change directions really sharply on city streets is to go up and then sort of loop. And all that buzzing, that is the stall warning and it is perfectly fine. It's going to sit here on stall. It's a stump plane, it's designed for it. Alright, so now down here should be... Central Park somewhere. Oh, that was a little close. And there it is, Central Park. Some turbulence off the buildings there as we're going through. All right, so while we're here, now we can actually do stunts over New York. I need to look for places to land. So I need a place to put a bush plane and a float plane in Central Park. All right, that lake up ahead is looking nice. And we have a golf course. I think that's a golf course. I would assume that's a golf course. All right, so we put a bush plane down on the golf course and that lake should be large enough to land both a float Cessna and an Icon A5. So we should be able to land comfortably in the middle of the city if we want to do something there. Actually, one thing that would be really nice, I don't know if they'd do it, but if a Sobo, look at that. Look at the number of trees that are down there. They, they, they've they really got to get rid of that. There's probably some really good ground textures underneath there for the um, for the city streets. You just can't see them because the Sims just blanketed the strip trees. It looks like, um, what's the movie? Uh, it's a Will Smith movie. Um, you know, zombie apocalypse period of movies. Um, I Am Legend, I think it was, where New York City is like overgrown and he's living in it. He's playing golf off the aircraft carrier that's in the harbour. 
I think I think it was New York that he was in anyway, but it reminds me of that. So, yeah, confirmed Microsoft Flight Simulator takes place in a post-apocalyptic zombie apocalypse world, and we're all flying planes around because, you know, well, you don't want to be on the ground in that. Um, might hang. We're all in. There we go. That was nice. Here and see if we can drop back into the buildings and pull. Throttle back for the dive. <laughs> well, this is a nice area to fly through, a real concrete canyon. Yeah, as I was going to say, it'd be nice if a Sobo put in a, a system that allowed you to create, and I used to hate these, but I can actually see real use for them here, the uh, like 3D holographic rings for people to fly through. And drop down on that street. Um, yeah, like 3D floating holographic rings for people to fly through, so you can create race courses and have and up to the user to play, uh, place them wherever they want because I would make a racetrack through New York City for people to fly, you know, 330s and pit specials and, you know, any, anything else that pops up as well that you could potentially race through and just turn, you know, all the capital cities into the world into aerial racetracks between the buildings. Actually thinking about it, that's probably precisely why they, uh, they wouldn't do it. I'm sure I'm breaking a lot of rules here at the moment, but... Uh, Beautiful part one. That didn't line up quite right. Not sure if I was out on that roll or whether or not the streets are out of alignment. New York's built on a grid. I was probably I was probably out. I wasn't running hard enough. Yeah, it might be part of the reason why they don't do it. I'm sure I'm breaking a lot of rules here, but it's the beautiful part about simulations. You don't have to follow uh, follow any guidelines. That is something that they've got to sort out. It's actually the, the only complaint that I really have about this patch is the um, the white menu bar at the top of the screen no longer fades out. They they really need to fix that up. They had it working. I have no idea why they how they managed to break that because it was perfectly fine the way it was before. But or at the very least, have an option in the menu. Have an option in the menu for it to fade out or. Because there might be a reason that they've got to keep it solid. It might be something about the Xbox release. I don't know. You know, maybe it's easier for Xbox users if it's up permanently. So put an option in the menu that you can select. Ooh, this street's a bit thin. <laughs> the highway here is just overgrown. Yes. <laughs> Somebody needs to call in a wood chipper and a pruning crew really severely around New York City. But it's pretty. God, it would be nice if all the cities in the world were actually like this for real. Um, yeah, they, they need to put in something to fix that. And what do we got here? Warning. Make sure online text to speak. Ah, my net's probably starting to mess up, so. It's alright, we're well, heading back to the airfield now, so now it's time for us to bomb out anyway. It means my. Uh, all the textures were looking a little poor quality there, so I might not have been streaming them all in at full rate. But, uh, yeah. 
Now, right now, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of flight sim purists that are screaming into my comment section about how many rules I just managed to break. Yeah, don't care, had fun. I uh, thoroughly recommend you do too. They really do need to do a little bit of work around New York though. Like, I mean, this is beautiful. It really is. But there are way too many trees. New York is not this green. We, we all wish it was, but it's not. Uh, this is a universal thing over flight sim, unfortunately. But it is what it is. So anyways, we come around for landing. This is actually our second pass at the landing. The first time, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but we got waved off and had to go around, which, uh, which kind of sucked because we had a perfect lineup. Interestingly, we didn't get waved off this time, and you can see we've got an aircraft that just landed, a small passenger aircraft, just uh, crossing our main runway. Anyways, uh, landing here was a little bit too fast. I was a bit frustrated by the wave off, so... Um, yeah, two reds on approach, so I was on the glide path, a little bit too fast, so we skimmed like a stone a little bit here, but it was pretty comfortable overall. Um, probably wouldn't want to land this fast in real life, but it is what it is. And then just taxied it around to park it towards the end. But anyways, that's really all there is to it. This was a lot of fun to fly. Um, I've been wanting to do this for ages, but just the frame rates in New York City. It boing, boing, boing. The frame rates in New York City are uh, trying to do stunts like that in between the buildings, even on my hardware with 3080 and a current gen AMD chip and you know 64 gigs of high speed RAM. And I, I would get frame drops down to you know 15 or below in between the buildings, which is just way too slow to be able to actually react and control the aircraft, especially once you consider that Microsoft Flight Simulator does actually create sort of turbulence off the buildings and off the around the area in between there. So the plane is actually getting jostled flying between the buildings, uh, much the same way as it gets bounced around flying near mountains. So yeah, it's, um, it's not something you can do at a low frame rate, but it is something you can most certainly do now. And I thoroughly recommend it uh, for a bit of a laugh. Anyways, ladies and gents, hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to, you know, like, subscribe. You know the drill. Until next time, take care.